What's going on guys, Saga Please here coming at you with, as you can see, Kamigawa and Neon Dynasty spoilers. So, first off, before we get into that, I would like to apologize for not posting for the past week, pretty much, and Happy New Year's. So, first video of the new year is Kamigawa spoilers, so, yeah. I mean, so yeah, and back to the apologizing of not recording for a week, I mean, yeah... It's mean I have time, but it's mainly been because like I've been out with friends and family, and when I get back with and there's time to record, I'm just like wiped. So yeah, but uh, we are on Mythic Spoilers again, which is the website I use to keep up to date with all my spoilers. So yeah, so I mean since it's a short list, we can look through all of them. Yeah, so I mean first let's go off Satoru. Yumezawa is his name, and that's his uh, showcase art, which is nice. I mean, yeah, it looks more like a Japanese art style. So he's a one UB blue black legendary creature, human ninja 2 4. Whenever you activate a ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability triggers only once each turn. All right. So obviously, right, each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu two blue black. So I mean, right off the bat, ninjutsu is coming back. I'm like, I'm not too sure if Bushido, Bushido is coming back, that type of thing. But ninjutsu is kind of more of a staple for Kamigawa or ninjas in general. So yeah. So I mean, there's probably no prices on these. So I'll just be looking at the cards, but. I think this will get some good play in uh, Ninja decks, mainly because you get a benefit of adding a card to your hand and then rearranging your bottom to the card that you want, or however so, but yeah, I'd say it's a fairly good card. And then a new Planeswalker for Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty. Excuse me a sec. And that is Kaito Shizuki. One blue black legendary creature or legendary planeswalker Kaito. At the beginning of your end step, if Kaito Shizuki entered the backfield under your control, he phases out. So his static ability is really good, I'd say. Mainly because like on the turn he sunk played, then on the turn he enters the battlefield, pretty much, he it gets protected, so nothing can happen to him. So you get to keep a planeswalker for an entire table rotation if it's in commander, or like for a whole turn or so if it's like standard pioneer, that type of thing. Where usually people are, it's one v one. But his uptake plus one, draw a card, then discard a card unless you attack this turn. All right, so that's. Pretty much an ability you would activate second main phase. Down take two. Create a 1-1 one, one blue ninja creature token with. This creature can't be blocked. Alright, not bad. And then down take seven. You get an emblem with. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a blue or black creature card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. So I mean, not a fairly good card. So, I won't deny that. So, I mean, that is a good thing to have, mainly because, like, uh, emblems are can never be removed. And then, also, he comes in with three loyalty. So, if you're going to try and, like, if you are having this in a multicolor deck with a four inclex from Cow Timeout, then I'll fly out say that pretty much... He'll be up to six at that point because all your counters are doubled. And then just uptake one and then he phases out. So he's protected already having seven in order for you to use when your turn comes again. So uh, yeah, but I mean that emblem is pretty good mainly because it allows you to search for a blue or black creature card and put it onto the battlefield. So it doesn't matter what CMC is, you can immediately play it which is nice. Only hard part would be to get 
have one of your creatures deal combat damage to a player. But either way, that is good. It's Hidetsu Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos. I think I said that right. I'm not sure. I watch a lot of anime, so I kind of can get the names, but not exactly. But he's a three black legendary creature ogre demon. Black sacrifice a creature scry two. Two red tap. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. When you exile a non land card this way, Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos deals damage equal to the the exile card's mana value to any target. So that is not bad. All right. Yeah. I mean, like, obviously I can spot say he won't get much play, but like if you're able to, if you're just trying to like exile your deck out, that is a good way. And you can deal damage if it's a non-land card. So you get a benefit. So like if you're trying to mill yourself, that is kind of a good way to mill if you're trying to like mill yourself into a win con or something like that. But it is risky, and it is, and you have to run use that have red in order to use that ability. So not much. And he's a four four. So I'm flat gonna say not much play. And then if I remember, the Tsuku has multiple. Yep, he has. He pretty much has colors in all of them. So a black, black, uh, spread out showcase frames. I'll probably pop these up later again, but yeah, he's the only one that comes in like five different colors for a showcase, like black, white, green, blue, red. I don't know why, but I mean, it is cool. It's like, obviously it's neon dynasty. So neon highlights, you can see like what what is exactly the difference between them like it's all the same artwork just like different highlights but from the black one i can obviously you can obviously tell like it is not as detailed as these four because that one is just like normal showcase and then these are like drawn on top of the showcase so yeah next card is atsushi atsushi the blazing sky Two red, red legendary creature, dragon spirit, 4-4, four, four, flying trample. When Atsushi, the blazing sky, dies, choose one. Exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards or create three treasure tokens. So right off the bat, not much play, I guess, unless it's like you just have him as a chump blocker because he's only good when he dies. That's it. And if you're in a mono red deck, those treasures may come in handy or you may exile the top two cards. But I mean, it's up to you. So, yeah. Because, uh, cause, I mean, Flying Trample is not bad, but you mainly would have him just so that he could die and you can get a benefit or so from him. Because, I mean, he's a 4-4 four, four with a f 4 CMC, so, yeah. A lot of fours going on in there, but yeah, pretty much four mana cost, and you would probably try and want him to die. And yeah, I forget, but this, ooh, yeah, that is his uh, showcase. So I like, I do like his showcase, which is really nice. I won't deny that. But uh, I forgot to show you the Kaito Sh Shizuki showcase. So I mean, a lot of anime style. It's really nice. I mean, kind of going Japanese for some of them, but like anime style right here, really nice. And then this is his Japan. Oh man, but yeah, this is his Japanese art. I mean, you probably have to open a Japanese box from Kami Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, like Japanese text version of the of it. But yeah, I mean that is really nice. And then here's the Satoru Yumizawa, his other showcase, which is also nice. So it's like, I guess uh, this is the borderless, and then this is showcase frame. So yeah, and this is borderless showcase frame. So yeah, yeah borderless right there. Yeah, 
I mean, they do not look bad at all. I mean, I enjoy them. All right, so the Kami War. So pretty much it's a one Wooberg enchantment saga. And I'm just going to zoom in here to see the text. So chapter one, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Chapter two, return up to one other target non-land permanent to its control to to its owner's hand then each opponent discards a card chapter three exile this this saga then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control it become and when it transforms it becomes okagachi made manifest six six enchantment creature dragon spirit okagachi made manifest is all colors with flying trample whenever okachi okagachi made manifest attacks defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard return that target to your hand okagachi made manifest gets plus x plus zero until end of turn where x is the mana value of that card so this is not bad at all whatsoever i mean it is more dragon based but i mean once you get it to flip over you get a real, a very nice ability, and it's not a legendary creature, so you can have multiples of these going on at the same time. So that is not bad. I mean, not denying it. It is a really good card, which I may add to my Ur Dragon Commander deck. But yeah, and that, as you can see, it's kind of been. It's kind of beaten up, so it's like probably a paper copy, and there's no official art for it yet, or like official showcase art for it yet, but they'll probably release one soon. Uh, and then you have your commons and uncommons here, which I'll look at too, mainly because we're not even 15 minutes in, so Nezumi, Nezumi Prowler, as you can already tell, this is the showcase art. One black artifact creature. Let me just zoom in. 25%. 125 is good. No. So, one black artifact creature rat ninja. Ninjutsu, which is a 3 1. Ninjutsu, one black. So, I mean, no matter what, you would be playing its man cost or ninjutsu cost in order to get onto the battlefield. But when it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gains death touch and life link until end of turn. So, that's not bad. So, I mean, you can ninjutsu this out and give probably one of your stronger creatures death touch and life link. So, you gain life and you're able to get rid of a creature if they also pair that creature you selected also perishes. So, yeah. Because, I mean, it's like, uh, as you can see, it's really like bla Black Lance Black Lance Paragon. So, I won't deny that, but he targets knights instead. And this targets any creature, tar any creature you control. So that's not so bad. Uh, Jukai Tra Trainee, one green creature, human samurai, two two. Whenever Jukai Trainee becomes a Trainee blocks or becomes blocked, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Yeah, all right. So not a good ability. Won't see much for pl play in general, but he's there. Yeah, I don't have much to say about the uh, non uh, commons or the commons or uncommons mainly because like those will get used every now and then. But mainly people try and hunt for the rares in order to make use of, and then it's like your uncommons will be used. And the only common cards sometimes people will use are are basically lands because those are common type. Pretty much their rarity is common, so. Because lands are basic lands are essential, so yeah. But discharge of flame, X red, instant. Discharge of flame deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control a modified creature as you cast this spell, deal X plus two damage instead. Creatures that are equipped, enchanted, or have counters are modified. So that's a new keyword, modified. I have never heard of it before, but. Pretty much modified, as you can see, 
let me just highlight it. Oop. But yeah, creature to be for it to be considered modified, it's equipped, enchanted, or it has counters. So those are easy to do. I mean, get counters on a creature, enchant one, or get equipment onto a creature. Those are not hard. It just like this is you want to get to max out maximize this card more. You pretty much would want to have like counters or equipment or enchantment on something. So yeah. And then our Kyodai Sola Kamigawa. All right. So like this is a dragon spirit, three white. So I I also want to say that this symbol is uncommon because it looks silver, but I'm not too sure. I want to say it's rare, but yeah, I mean, this is a Wooberg card, so yeah. So three white legendary creature dragon spirit, three, three with flash flying. When Kyodai Solo Kamigawa enters the battlefield, another target permanent gains indestructible for as long as you control Kyodai. Wooberg, Kyodai gets plus five, plus five until end of turn. So, I mean, he is really, he, you can say he's good because he can give another one year permanent indestructible. So it will be hard to destroy unless you like exile it or something. So, I mean, give it to a creature when you're more OP creatures, you don't have to worry about it unless they try and exile. But if Kyodai dies, then your creature becomes vulnerable again. So he's probably gonna you're probably gonna run like one or two copies of him maybe. Not too sure, but he is kind of expensive because CMC of four and then you need to have Wooberg in order to activate his other effect just to boost him up so that he may not die. So that is something. But yeah, you may see him one or two cards in play for standard pioneer or not Pioneer, Standard, and mainly Pioneer, that has a longer set list, so you really wouldn't upgrade as main cards. But yeah, last card, Takenuma Abandoned Mind, or uh, Takenuma Abandoned Mire, Legendary Land, and I don't know what rarity it is because a card on top is covering it. It's tap add black so there's that channel new term three black discard takenuma abandoned mire mill three cards then return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand this ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature you control so i mean not a not a bad ability i'd say but it's like You'd pro you would probably you want to run you would mainly have this card in order for to make use of that channel ability because like you're able to mill your deck and then if you mill the card that you want then you can return return to your hand or because I mean this can target any card in your graveyard technically speaking so you can make use of that and then it costs one less to activate for each legendary creature you control. So, I mean, just have three legendary creatures out, and it just costs a black. So, and it does tap for a black. So, there's that. If you do need to use it as a turn one land, then go for it. Because, like, it doesn't come in untapped. So, it is fairly good, but you can only have one of it. So, pretty much, you would mainly be running this for its channel ability. Which I won't deny is a kind of a good ability. And that is it for right now. And then, as you can see here, these lands are gorgeous like crazy. I mean, really nice art. It kind of, ca it really captures like Japanese, obviously Kamigawa, the whole Kamigawa block is Japanese style, but because before Neon Dynasty, the old ones are like, I want to say feudal Japanese style, mainly because of the samurais and everything. Like, you're more ancient Jap Japan, and this is more, like, futuristic. But these art styles are giving off, like, the very, like, the nice locations that Kamigawa may possess. So, the, yeah, these art styles I really do enjoy. I won't hesitate to buy, pretty much buy these as singles or, like, just 
pull them out of packs because these will most likely be in packs and if you get the box bundle you'll just be getting the basic lands but yeah so i mean that'll be it for today's video i mean really nice artwork for the card for the showcase and these lands these are really nice i feel like wizards are doing more like artsy lands for the for the booster packs set packs that type of thing so these are really nice i'm just gonna gawk up talk about them a lot but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and have a nice new year's day you guys and i'll see you all next time there is another spoiler release this is saga place signing out bye